Michigan's better moments, and there weren't all that many as Elvis Gerbach dumps one to Tyrone Wheatley, and he scoots 50 yards for the touchdown to put Michigan up 7-0. But this wouldn't become a game for Wheatley's scrapbook as he fumbles the ball five times. As a team, Michigan fumbles 10 times, losing four in all six Wolverine turnovers. And you know what kind of trouble that can cause. One of them when Jesse Johnson costs it up near the goal line, Illinois recovering in the end zone for a touchback. Michigan would lead 19-15 late in the game before Illini quarterback Jason Verdusco goes in from two yards out, and Illinois leads 22-19. But Michigan gets one last drive, and Peter Elizovic kicks a career-long 39-yard field goal with 16 seconds left to tie. Michigan clinches another Rose Bowl berth while getting its second tie. Michigan 22, Illinois 22. See, when you beat yourself, that's different than someone else beating you or tying you. And that's the sad part. We definitely felt that uh, we self-destructed. Uh, we moved the ball well. Everything we did worked, but we just didn't secure the ball. Alabama at Mississippi State. The Tide leading 7-0 early when Antonio Langhorn comes charging through to block the punt and score the touchdown. Bama goes up 14-0 and leads 20 to three at the half before Mississippi State comes charging back in the third. And watch this catch by Olanda Truitt. Incredible concentration, part of a rather incredible comeback as Mississippi State actually goes on to grab the lead 21-20 before a Bama field goal has the tide in front 23-21. When George T makes the interception that leads to the clinching touchdown, Alabama has now won 20 in a row and clinches the SEC West, beating Mississippi State 30 to 21 while the Nittany Lions try to drop the Irish. And it's a defensive battle into the fourth quarter. Tied 9-9 until Penn State's Brian O'Neill busts one 13 yards, and the Lions go ahead 16-9. And it stays that way until just 25 seconds remain in the game. Notre Dame facing a fourth and goal and going for one last gas. Rick Meyer finding Jerome Bettis, the touchdown, pulling the Irish within 16-15. So kick the point after and tie or go for two in the win. That decision a no-brainer. They go for two and watch what happens. The entire game on the line as Meyer scrambles and lets one go for Reggie Brooks, who makes the fingertip grab, and Notre Dame pulls off the last second dramatics, beating Penn State 17-16. I think we played our hearts out. We left uh, pretty much everything out there on the field today. Um, you know, but when you get in tight games like that, you usually come down to um, one play who makes the big play, and Notre Dame made it. We've actually played it well. Myra made a big play. Myra did it. And you don't always look at the negatives. And Myra did a great job on that thing. And I think you got to give those people credit. Colorado at Kansas, where second place and then some is on the line in the Big 8. Colorado leading 17-10 in the third until Kansas quarterback Chip Hillary airs one out for Dwayne Chandler. 66 yards for the touchdown. Kansas tacks on a two-point conversion and grabs an 18-17 lead. But Colorado comes back. Fourth quarter when Cordell Stewart gives it to James Hill, who bangs his way for the touchdown with just over two minutes to play. Colorado beats Kansas 25-18. Spurrier coached Florida team has been shut out at home the first half. Second half, a different story, though, as Matthews hits Aubrey Hill. This, a 36-yard touchdown, and while South Carolina plays well, Florida wins its sixth straight and 18th in a row at home, the final 14 denied. Washington State at Stanford. And what kind of a day is it for the Cougars? Well, after Drew Bledsoe does a great job avoiding the rush, he unloads a perfect pass to C.J. Davis and watch it. <laughs> right through his hands, it lands on the ground. And no, there's nothing else you can do. All the while, Stanford is not having those kinds of problems. When Steve Stenstrom avoids the rush, he's able to hit a wide open Glenn Milburn who catches the ball, and Stanford rolls over Washington State 40 to three. Now back to the new USA Today CNN coaches poll where Stanford's win has the Cardinal cracking the top 15, while Florida moves up two places to number 11. Nebraska's loss drops the Huskers down seven notches to number 12. North Carolina State beats Duke and moves up one to 13. Southern Cal beats Arizona and jumps six places to 14. Tennessee at Memphis State volunteer head coach Johnny Majors announcing Friday this will be his last season at Tennessee. And with Memphis State leading 7-3 in the first quarter, Heath Schuler hitting Ronald Davis. The touchdown puts the Vols up 10-7. And Tennessee leads 24-14 when Tiger quarterback Steve Matthews hits Russell Copeland with a third touchdown pass, and Memphis State pulls within 23-21. Tennessee has to punt, still leading by two with two minutes to play. When Copeland won't be able to handle the boomer, Tennessee recovers, tacks on a field goal, and moves to 6-3, and three, winning 26-21. And the win gets Tennessee back in the top 20. The Vols moving up four places to number 20. 
Ohio State beats Indiana and moves up 2 to 16, while Arizona's loss to USC drops the Wildcats from 10 to 17. Mississippi State's loss to Alabama doesn't hurt the Bulldogs much here, dropping two places to number 18. Boston College falls four, losing to Syracuse, B.C., now number 19. And rounding out the poll, Kansas falls two places to 21 after losing to Colorado. North Carolina up three with a week off. Penn State, despite four losses, hangs in, falling two more spots to 23. Ole Miss jumps in at 24, beating Louisiana Tech. And a tie at 25, where Hawaii's loss drops the Rainbows two places. And Washington State's pounding keeps the Cougars around, falling three spots, but not quite out. Hawaii losing to San Diego State.